All right, this is gonna be the last section for the Word for iPad and iPhone. And we're just gonna work with inserting a table into your Word document. So to start with um, the table, you have to pick where you want it to be inserted and then click the Insert tab and then the Table selection. When you do that, it's gonna give you just a basic table that's three by three. We're gonna to wanna to make this table five by two. So to do that, you can go over to the Table tab and then click Insert. We're gonna insert two columns below and then we're gonna delete that last column. So then you can click the delete tab, and, or button, excuse me, and then delete that column. Uh, you simply just click in it to delete those columns. Uh, and now I'm gonna fill it in with some information. Uh, I'm sure you guys don't wanna watch this, so we'll skip by it. All right, now that all that information is filled in, we can work with the style of the table and how it looks um, in your document. So the first thing that we're going to do is working with the cell size. So say I wanna make that top column bigger so it kinda of sticks out so you know what the header is. Uh, you click the cell size button and you'll get a little drop down. We'll increase that to 0.24 and you can see that it expands it just a little bit there. Um, there's a lot of other options that you can get into. Um, the next one we're going to do is uh, table styles. So once you click on table styles, you get a drop down uh, of a bunch of pre-made styles uh, that Word gives you. So you can just pick the one that you like. We'll just go ahead and select this purple one there. And now you can see that um, it's, it's changed the whole look of the table. You can also increase the size by the two little ankle anchors that are there. It will make the columns the same width and um, height. You can work with alignment putting the text in the center, um, to the right, to the top, to the bottom, um, and also the shading for each individual cells. Um, so that's really it for the table section of Word. Now we're gonna get on over to PowerPoint side of things.